They've got a visa scheme for bringing people yeah. in. How do you find that for your industry? Oh, it's incredibly difficult. I mean, we used to have that freedom movement of, for hospitality in terms of people coming from yeah. Spain, Italy, Poland, wherever. But if you're looking for a sous chef, for example, what, what do you do about that? So I mean, you have to sponsor individuals. So whereas before people would move and move across Europe and come in and come and live in London, I'm using that as an example because we're here yeah. right now, but you would come in here and you would stay in the city, you could get a job and you could get a job in pretty any restaurant, any hotel, wherever you wanted to work, and you could come and enjoy uh, living in the city whilst working in a number of different spaces. Mm. Now you have to find the particular restaurant that you want to uh, go to. That restaurant has to decide that it wants to sponsor you and go through a visa process, which is a cost to that restaurant. Mm. Then you have to commit to staying at that restaurant for, a, 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 a num for a, I think it's 12 months, maybe 18 months, a period of time. Mm. So all of a sudden that restrictive, mm. uh, that kind of that process means that it does becomes a really unattractive place for somebody who wants to travel from overseas to come in because they can only stay in one space. And then it comes in at a cost to the employer to be able to try and find those people. And so just to be clear, that's a problem for you as, in terms of actually being able to get the right people in your kitchen? Yeah, it's hugely. And, uh, you know, there, there is a, a staff shortage across board in our industry, mm. and it is in many industries. Mm. But, you know, and, and it is across Europe. It, it's no different in Europe, except in Europe, if you work in Portugal, you can go and work in Germany. And if you're in Germany, you can go and work in Italy.